now conducted a test using the quick check mode, but suppose you want to test the same machine again and again. You can set up a history file and a machine definition using the advanced mode and operator mode to run subsequent tests. To set up advanced mode, click on start, all programs, Renishaw ball bar five, click on advanced. From this point, you'll want to set up and run a ball bar test. At this point, you can see two machine definitions already exist, an example machine and the quick check that we already ran. To set up a new machine definition, select add a machine. We're going to use a generic name here, such as Acme. The description, we'll make this a vertical machining center. And again, we can fill in the rest of the details, the manufacturer, the model number of the machine, serial number, controller type, whether it has multiple spindles, and so on. Machine icon allows us to select the icon that we represent with that machine. Let's choose a green vertical machining center icon. We've now created a machine definition called Acme. If we want to create a ball bar test associated with that machine, simply click on the machine definition icon, select add a test, you will see screens here that look very familiar to you. Select Vertical Machining Center, your test plane. We'll use the defaults here for feed rate, calibrator, test radius, and other details. Move on, go ahead and set up your test with the axis nomenclature, your capture and overshoot, and your run sequence. When we select Save, we will be saving that particular ball bar test to that machine definition. Select Save. At this point, we can create a part program, the program that will instruct the machine to go through the motion required for this test. If we go back to home now and enter in the setup again, you'll notice that we have the Acme machine, its associated test defined within it. Go back to home. After we've set up a machine definition in advanced mode and we've conducted tests, the results of those tests can be stored in a history file. To view the machine history, let's use the example machine. We can show the history by each of the specific error sources of the machine. This is quite helpful for determining trends in machine condition for predictive maintenance programs. And select Home. At this point, we can close out of Advanced Mode, go into Operator Mode. Operator Mode operates very much the same as Advanced Mode, with the exception of you cannot define tests or alter them in any way. You can simply collect data, view the results, and view the history. Let's take a look. If we select Run a Ball Bar Test, you'll see that we have our machine definition that we've created in Advanced Mode there. We can follow through the same sequence that we did in Advanced Mode to conduct the test at this point.